Karibu Kenya. Karibu Kenya? Karibu Kenya. What is Karibu? Welcome. Ah, welcome. Welcome Karibu here in Kenya. Kenya. So I'm uh, traveling around the world for six years now without coming back to France. My challenge is to travel all around the world only by hitchhiking. So it means without paying transport. So hitchhiking is uh, to stop a car and ask to travel for free with the car. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me it's a very good way to travel because you can meet uh, local people. They told you about their country, uh, the places you're passing by. Inside of the city, I will take a subway or a local bus inside of the city, but I don't uh, pay outside. To go from a city to another city, I never pay. And to cross ocean, or I go with sailboats, I walk on board, or I do also photography and video in exchange of a, a passenger ticket on board. Can you uh, bring me, uh, drive me to Brazil? So, so far I've been to, uh, from France to South America, North America until Alaska. Then I found another boat across the Pacific. I went to uh, New Zealand where I met my boyfriend. Then we continued together to Australia, uh, then to Asia, Middle East, and now Africa. So in Africa, I've just, we've just been to Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya. So now Africa is the last continent that we're gonna travel. So all around Africa and then next year uh, we'll go to France, my home country. I was traveling by myself before, but the way, the hitchhiking, what she's doing, and I found it amazing. She don't pay for any transport and she's really pursuing about that. She's uh, really encouraging people also about it and want to explain the story. So I found the idea of uh, hitchhiking around the world amazing. So I decided to um, continue with Flo, so I quit my job and we travel after New Zealand, Australia, we went to Southeast Asia, uh, we travel into Japan. So in some countries it's very easy because they know the idea of hitchhiking, but in many countries they don't know what it is, like in Kenya for example. People, they, when I stop a car, they ask me like, what is going on? And then when I say, okay, can I go? They say yes, and then I say for free, and they say no. <laughs> but sometimes they accept, then I expect, I say no, it's my challenge to travel all around the world. So. In Kenya, I've been traveling with uh, people with a truck, actually, and also with uh, small cars. Uh, how are you, Florence? Good, yeah. thank you. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing? Good. Yeah, you are doing good. First day in Kenya. Yeah. One uh, day in Kenya? Yes. Uh, Karibu, Kenya. Karibu, Kenya? Karibu, Kenya. What is Karibu? Welcome. Ah, welcome. Welcome Karibu, here in Kenya. Kenya. De traverser la frontière. Uh, the Sudan to uh, Ethiopia. For each country, depends. Some country you need the uh, visa, some countries you need to apply before line, some countries uh, you need nothing, so it depends. But for uh, Kenya, I had to pay, yeah, at the border. When I arrived in Moyale, I paid for my visa and then I could enter. I really like Brazil because it was my first uh, country. There was a lot of music and very loud, people dancing in the street, like it was like a big party everywhere. Uh, I like Australia because there are so many animals. Kenya too, I really like from the border to here. I didn't go to any national park, but then just on the road, like we saw so many animals for first time, you know? And then the drivers, they were very nice because they were going slower, like, like I was like, oh, zebra, zebra. And then for them, you know, it's probably normal and they don't care, but they were very nice because they go slow so I can take a picture. <laughs> The most challenging is to find a boat when you want to cross an ocean because finding a car is okay, it takes a few hours, but finding a boat it can take several days or weeks. So sometimes I've been searching for long, it was uh, difficult. Allez, emmenez-moi en Amérique! En Amérique, s'il vous plaît! Sometimes it's difficult uh, with the language because I don't speak the language in all the country where I go, so it's difficult to communicate. But I always find a way, like you always uh, find a way to make the people understand you, even if you don't speak the same language. It happened too, that some people they give me a ride and then they start to be weird and then I ask them to go out of the car. Or sometimes the people they stop and I say no, you know. Yeah. Like I'm not in a rush, so if I think the person is a bit weird, I just, just go. don't go, yeah. Now on route with Osman. So for me it was very old dream since I was young, I wanted to travel all around the world. 
and then I thought I would like to travel but without limit of time because I like to take my time and not think okay I have uh, three weeks here, three weeks here, like I just wanted to take my time. And then I thought okay if I want to travel so long it's going to be too expensive so or I take a bicycle or I hitchhike and then I decided like hitchhiking is easier than a bicycle <laughs> so I will just hitchhike. Okay. Yes but I was planning to travel two years you know, and then it just took so much time. Now it's been six years, but I didn't know I will travel so long. <laughs> Don't you miss your family in France? Uh, look, I think the first year it was uh, most difficult because you get used to be far away from your friends and family, so it was difficult. But then with the time I get used to it and now I know I will see them again next year. Do some people think you're crazy? Yes. <laughs> You know, it's funny because when I explain my story, uh, it creates all kind of uh, reaction. Like because I think the people they try to identify themselves to me. So some people they think I'm crazy, some people they laugh, some people they get upset, and some people they insult me. So it's like very different reaction. Yeah, I think usually people are scared of what they've never done. So maybe someone who never hitchhike will be scared, but for me it's something normal. So I know how it works, so I'm feeling very comfortable doing that, you know, for me it's normal. And then usually when you go in the car, you start talking with the people uh, about their life, your life, and then, you know, you create like a little relation. <laughs> Message to you. <laughs> no, I just hope that if people know it's possible to travel with a small budget and uh, simply just hitchhiking and staying by people in a tent and that is not so complicated to travel, maybe more people uh, will do it. Mm -hmm.